We're joined by Texas Tech offensive lineman Rusty Stats. Uh, Rusty, you came in this offseason. What made you choose Texas Tech? Oh, man. Uh, culmination of things. Uh, Joey McGuire. Man, I just saw him on social media. Loved his energy. I heard a lot of good things about him. But uh, I played under Stephen Hamby and Zach Kitley at uh, WKU for a year with Kitley and two or three with Hamby. So I built just such a great relationship with them. And uh, I knew that I was going to try to make the jump up to Power 5 to, uh, you know, try to just uh, have a better chance of pursuing my dreams of playing in the next level. But uh, that and then, uh, man, I just heard about this energy in West Texas, uh, the fans and, you know, how much support they got here, man. With all that wrapped up, it was a no-brainer. And then uh, you mentioned uh, your relationship with Coach Hamby. What is he like? I mean, I've seen him in practice, but oh, how would you describe him? He's a... Uh, and he's an awesome dude. Uh, first and foremost, he's a friend, but uh, you know I just respect the hell of the dude. He uh, really knows what he's talking about, and you know he's always kind of took us under his wing and you know helped us make life to cho choices. He wants to know what's going on in our life. He wants to you know help us out in any way. But you know he's a great coach. He knows what he's talking about. And I just love his energy, that uh, fire that he's got. You know it's you know it makes you play hard. It makes you want to win. It's it's in it's infectious for sure. You played, was it this tackle at Western Kentucky? I played center. Or? So Western you Kentucky. played center? You did? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. how, how many years did you play center at Western Kentucky? Uh, I've been playing center since, I guess, 2020, COVID year. Okay. I played a little guard uh, COVID year, you know, played kind of the three, in, or, you know, three inside spots, kind of moved around, but been playing center, I guess, since 2020, 2021. You mentioned making the power five jump, and you yeah. played in spring. Is there any, is, has there been a, di a difference in terms of yeah. going to get the competition? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely going to be a jump. You know, I got to play against uh, Jalen Hutchins and, you know, Tony Bradford. I mean, those are two of the best defensive tackles in the whole country, in my opinion, maybe, you know, some of the best. So, you know, that's always going to be a battle. I mean, the guys here, you know, they're going to be stronger. They're going to be a little bit more athletic. But, uh, you know, it's it's been it hasn't been super tough. I mean, I, I respect those guys and everything, man. But uh, I trust in myself and my uh, abilities. But uh, yeah, it's definitely been a jump. But man, it's uh, I'm thankful for being able to, you know, play against that type of caliber. So. And then you played with Cole at Western Kentucky. How, how many years did, did you all play? Yep. Yeah, uh, man, uh, I've known Cole and played with him 2018. Oh wow. Yeah. So my true my uh, true freshman year, uh, he's a year older than me. So okay. me and him. You know, we've been playing together forever. We went for, uh, competed for a championship, uh, Carmen 2 SA championship together, mm -hmm. 2021 with Kitley, and uh, he's one of my uh, best good buddies. So, are y'all yeah. roommates and all that? Like, do you all? Uh, we, whenever we were at Western, we were, we were roommates. We lived in a house together for six months, and then some away games and stuff. We would room together, but besides that, no. And then. Uh, what what is it about this offense? Like, how would you describe Coach Kitley and what he tries to do? Oh man, it's uh, spread it out. It's uh, super high tempo. You know, try to get the defense on their heels. That way, you can you know ex expose them deep or you know get them tired. That way, you can get miss. It's all about mismatches, man. Uh, he like to get. He likes to get his receivers one on one. He likes to uh, give his receivers a chance to you know go one on one and go beat them. Uh, from O line standpoint, he likes to get you know five on five guys and. You know, he tries to make it as easy as possible on us. That way we can go out there and just uh, play freely without thinking uh, really fast tempo offense, which is, which is cool. And then where did you grow up? I grew up in Watertown, Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. Yep. All right. How different, I guess, how different was it in Kentucky to Tennessee and then how different now in West Texas? Yeah, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee wasn't a crazy big difference. Yeah. You know, there's a few differences here and there because I'm from a very small town, you know, no stoplight, no nothing. Just, wow. Man, just a bunch of country boys, but um, they had that in Kentucky quite a bit. But it's definitely a big uh, transition from Tennessee to here. You know, I'm used to a bunch of green and hills and all this kind of stuff. And I got out here and it's flat as can be and stuff. <laughs> it was crazy. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a jump. And then Coach McGuire was talking about how much stronger everybody got this year. That yep. was, like, perhaps the biggest jump he's ever seen yep. in the off season. What are you up to weight-wise and how much stronger are you got? Yeah, I'm around 315 and I'm – Man, I think I've gotten a lot stronger, man. These coaches are, these strength coaches are, in my opinion, man, some, maybe the best in the country. Uh, they're, uh, they have a really, really good group of guys. Uh, but we all made huge jumps in the weight room and like every lift. Uh, I think it was just the way uh, everybody attacked this offseason, man. I think everyone knows what we can be and everyone's really all in on this, 
on this team. So we went this year, or this summer, this spring, and we really attacked the weight room. And I think it showed uh, towards the end of the summer. You mentioned your ultimate goal of playing in the NFL. Yeah. What do you have a, a team you grew up rooting for? Yeah, Steelers. Big, big oh. for diehard Steelers fan. <laughs> you just broke my heart. I won't do the Toon Cowboy fan. So. Oh man. Oh man. You got you got to hate Pittsburgh, then. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Not as much as my parents with the '70s and yeah. the rivalry and all that, but yeah, yeah. Um, what, what do you feel like you have to do in order to achieve that goal? Yeah, man. I just need to go out there and play my game. Uh, you know, got to protect the quarterback first and foremost. Uh, that's definitely the number one thing, even in the NFL, man. The quarterback gets paid a lot of money, so you got to take care of him. Uh, number two, I got to make sure I got five guys doing the right thing uh, at the right time, you know. So uh, I got to make sure that I'm making the right calls, seeing the front, seeing, you know, blitzes, making sure we're getting everything picked up, and then, you know, just showing off my athleticism, getting out in space, and, you know, uh, doing great in outside zone, and, you know, making plays in space. Just, uh, obviously, you like Coach Hamby, or you wouldn't have come here. But yeah. him being a former center, he says he takes great pride in his centers playing yeah. well for him. What, you know, do you feel that? Like, do you feel like that helps you at all? Him giving yeah. you perhaps pointers and stuff like that, no, having played does. the position. Well, he's man, he's done it, and he's done it at a high level, and he's done it well. He's been on great teams here at Texas Tech, so he knows what it takes to be a good center, you know, in uh, in the Big 12. So you know, he's always giving me tips, giving me pointers. You know, it's. It's an everyday thing. Me and him will meet one-on-one -on -one and go over the team we're going to play or go over practice and what's going on with the other guys, what I can do to help him out. Man, he's uh, he's super supportive and uh, he's awesome. All right. Rusty Stats, really appreciate your time. Yep, thank, thank you. Thank you so Thanks. much.